Welcome back everybody to the Gamecock Dynasty today as we continue our very successful start to this season. Multiple wins in a row for this Gamecock team. They have not lost a game since week two at Georgia and today they take on the two and three Tennessee Volunteers as Amari on Brown is going to catch it in the back of the end zone to start off this day. Now we get to see our big man Marshawn Lloyd coming out onto the field. Unfortunately for the Volunteers, Hendon Hooker is out for basically the season, so they have had to run with Joe Milton this entire year, which he's not terrible, but he's not a Hendon Hooker, so they've been struggling, and as you can tell, they're down to 2-3 and three now on a 1st and 10. We will try it with Leggett. Those jet sweeps sometimes get open, but unfortunately that time loses two on the ground. Now Rattler out of the shotgun. He's going to pass, and it's intercepted by Burrell at the 30. To the 20, to the 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Tennessee. Warren Burrell jumps the route. Rattler probably should have threw it a little sooner than that, and he would have had a, maybe even a touchdown if Leggett breaks the tackle. And now Marshawn Lloyd is slung down in the backfield. So this team is in danger of going three and out and giving the ball right back to the Volunteers now. Third and 13. Rattler rolling around, fires down across that left side and he just misses his man who was open but probably not open enough to get the first down there so now we get our first look at joe milton and company milton has a very strong arm as brew mccoy makes a man miss down to the 30 breaking another tackle down to the five and he's out at about the three 69 yards later third and goal for the volunteers milton Throwing to the end zone, finding McCoy in the back of the end zone as he tight ropes the line to gain back there. And the volunteer strike in a matter of seconds now. 14 0 as your 23rd ranked Gamecocks trail. Rattler now on a second and 10. Fires back across his body. Juice Wells rushing down the field 36 yards. First and 10 now for Rattler and company. It's going to be a play action. Rattler firing the Wells again on the wheel route. Another 18 yards. Looking like maybe the offense is getting it going a little bit. Second and goal. Rattler calling a bunch of audibles. He's going to take the snap. Under pressure immediately. Rolls out of the pocket. To the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown South Carolina. Touchdown to Kirion Joyner. He grabs, his, grabs the catch. And he just barely gets both feet in. And that is a big strike there for this Gamecocks offense. But if the defense can't step up as Jabari Small right down the middle for 21 yards. If they can't step up, it's going to be tough to come back. Second and 10 now. Milton later on the same drive. We're down to about 240 in this quarter. Milton's going to fake it. He's going to keep it himself. And he just rumbles forward for about 6 yards. Devonnie Reed is going to bring him down. Now third and 5. Milton out of the shotgun. Calling his man in motion. That's going to be the tight end Warren. Milton takes a snap. Under pressure. Nowhere to go. Fires it into coverage. Marcellus Dial had a chance at it. But instead the Volunteers will walk away with a field goal there. Now 17-7. Rattler on the next possession. Throws into coverage. But this time it's Josh Van able to make an excellent catch on the screenplay. Now second and two. Little over a minute remains as Lloyd right down the middle. Shove it down that defensive line. And they just get an excellent run there on that play. Now later on that drive. First and 10. Rattler rolling around. Nobody really open. Firing at the last second on the sideline. Did he? Jaheim Bell. Oh my goodness. He caught that and got a foot in. First and goal now. Rattler to Lloyd. Right up the middle. Follows his lead blockers. And he is in the end zone. Marshawn Lloyd, 17-14 now. You've got a feeling this Gamecock team just needed to wake up. They kind of got punched in the mouth in that first quarter. And now Jalen Hyatt finally getting involved with a 12-yard catch. But they kind of got shocked and just punched in the face in that first quarter. And now they're looking to make their comeback. Second and 10. Milton goes to Jabari Small, who's able to get a nice move on the outside. And Devani Reed, along with a couple of other guys, Bring him down, but after a 19-yard gain, second and five now for Milton and company. Calling a bit of an audible. He's got small beside him, but they decide to throw it. Milton to the outside corner, and he's going to get Jalen Hyatt. And they don't call it a touchdown. 
So first in goal from the one. Milton going to keep it with Cedric Tillman. And he's got a touchdown on the jet sweep. They go a little fancy there. Not really sure how that Jalen Hyatt catch wasn't a touchdown considering he crossed the goal line. But I'm not going to complain. Now second or third and six. Rattler hits Antoine Wells Jr. juice there for eight yards. Wells or Wells Jr. has quickly become Rattler's favorite receiving target. I mean, the dude's always open and he looks for him a ton. Now seven yard run there for Lloyd. Rattler going to call a play action with CBS in the backfield. Wants to throw and instead he sacked and fumbles. Thomas, the linebacker, picks it up and oh man. Very lucky that he got tripped up. Now second and six. Milton out of the shotgun. He wants to throw nobody up and he's getting sacked. Loses eight yards. Now third and 14. It would be devastating for Tennessee if they cannot score off of that fumble. Milton to the screen play and Zach Pickens is there to rumble down the field and break that one up. Beautifully run by Zach Pickens in this Gamecocks defense. Now first and 10 for Rattler and Co. The next possession, Marshawn Lloyd able to break a man, miss a little bit there as he rumbles down for about 12 yards on his first catch of the day. Now first and 10, Rattler play action again. They love those read options and now he's going to throw it outside to a comeback man, Josh Van. He's got a beautiful catch there on the outside. Second and three now. Rattler wants to throw. Fires to the outside and it's intercepted again. Warren Burrell again with the pick. Tennessee strikes again on the defensive side of the ball. 24-14 is where the score will stand. They've got a minute and a half now on a third and five to do something. And Milton just throws it away. He's done pretty well so far today holding on to the ball. The Gamecocks have a chance now. First and 10 with a minute 17 after an excellent punt return. Rattler calling some audibles. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff, goes to the outside. Touchdown! Xavier Leggett, 28 yards later, he beat his man on the line of scrimmage. And there was no question about that one. It was only a matter of Rattler actually making the throw. 24-21 now. We get it down to three right here before halftime. Into coverage Dial just misses it, and the Volunteers fly down the field. Now 43 seconds remain. Milton out of the shotgun. A pressure up the middle. Cedric Tillman breaks one tackle, or if he breaks one tackle, that's a touchdown. Second and seven now. Milton to the end zone. Touchdown. Jalen Hyatt as this uh, electric Tennessee offense strikes again for this game now they get the ball to start the second half third quarter first play of the third quarter he's got his big man Merrill out there Walker Merrill and the first time we've seen his name called but probably with this passing game probably not the last Milton on a first and ten is sacked trying to get to the outside instead Tonka Hemingway I believe or Alex Huntley is able to bring him down third and five Milton out of the shotgun, firing, got his man high, cutting up the field, and he's going to get brought down after 16 yards. First and 10 now, Milton out of the shotgun, got a lot of people on the field, fires to Jabari Small, and he's got a 13-yard catch and run right up the middle. No chance to catch him by Mo Kaba. he was just too fast for that one, so... 38-21 as the deficit continues to climb for this Gamecock offense. Rattler firing into coverage, but he gets it over the man down there at the middle. And 21 yards later, Jaheim Bell makes a great play. Third and seven. Rattler out of the shotgun. Firing across the middle again, and he misses Jaheim Bell this time. So they are going to go for it on fourth and seven. You've got to feel like this is all or nothing here. Rattler finds his man on the slant, and he gets lit up. But Amarion Brown is able to hold on to it. Third and 13 now. Rattler and company wants to just get as many yards as possible as he dumps it off to Lloyd. And another fourth and seven for Rattler and co. This time he's all alone in the backfield. Rattler fires to Juice. Across the middle. Does he get there? They're going to give it to him. Did not really think he got there. But instead, they give him the first down. Now on a second and four, Marshawn Lloyd finally getting his legs warm today as he has struggled to get going on this offense. Now third and one. The Kirion Joyner in the backfield. It's going to be a read option. He keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Gamecock strike early or late in this third quarter and bring it back down to a 10-point ball game. 
Milton and company will pick up right where they left off as they fire to Brew McCoy, who is being covered by RJ Roderick. He has struggled at times in coverage this season. He is a very big and sure tackler, but coverage-wise, he has struggled as Noah Fan. I don't think that's Noah Fan. I'm, Noah Fan is the tight end in the NFL. Princeton Fan. Perhaps it's his brother, but um, I just called him the wrong name. Now, Tennessee. All the way down to the red zone. Third and two. Jabari Small. Sure tackle there by the senior Sherrod Green. And the Volunteers settle for a late or early field goal. But late game field goal here in this fourth quarter. As they are going to go up 41 to 28. It is now a 13 point ball game. Third and three now for Rattler on the next drive. He's got really nowhere to go, but Amari on Brown works free for nine yards and a good job there by him to keep moving. Now, first and 10, Rattler out of the shotgun. Lloyd's going to go into the receiving area and he's going to cut it upfield and he tries to muscle his way for more yards. Seven yards later, though, a pretty good outcome on that one. Now, second and three. Rattler's got Jaheim Bell down the middle of the field on a double route. 38 yards as this offense is pumping down the field. Third and four now. Rattler calling in audible. Takes the snap to Juju McDowell and he gets lit up but he holds on. Five yard gain there for the first down. Now third and goal. A little over a minute remains. Rattler to Lloyd. Lloyd up the middle gets hit from behind but he carries him into the end zone as he gets there from three yards out. And the Gamecock strike. Now it is just a one possession game. Second and five. Milton. Under pressure, he gets sacked from behind. There was three Gamecocks there, but they make a great effort as a whole just to bring him down. Now Milton on third and ten, another screen. He's got some room, but Jordan Birch is able to bring him down from behind. The Gamecocks will get the ball back down six with about two and a half minutes remaining. Rattler on a play action, fires to Wells. Juice Wells to the 40, to the 30, and rung down around the 30 four yard line what a strike there from rattler to juice now first and 10 rattler to the end zone touchdown is dropped by austin stogner man that is a big big hit there now second and nine later on the same drive rattler rolling around wants to go at himself sliding and just across the first down line now 42 seconds and counting first and goal for the gamecocks lloyd into the end zone touchdown South Carolina but a lot of time here for this volunteer offense Milton and company have scored with less time on the clock before now on his first play he's gonna strike to Jalen Hyatt 12 yards as they continue down the field 18 seconds remain in this one Milton out of the shotgun he continues to have small beside him this one is gonna be set up as a nice blocking scheme Jalen Hyatt gets free and the Volunteers have a chance to tie it or to win it here with this field goal. Snap it back. Good hold right down the middle. So with two seconds left, the Gamecocks have nothing but miracles to win this one. 44-42. Rattler and company are going to need an absolute miracle to win this one. All alone in the backfield. Rattler takes the snap. Got a little pressure. Fires downfield. Josh Van's got it. He's got a block to the 10-5. Oh my goodness. 75-yard touchdown strike from Rattler to Van as time expires. Beautiful throw. Amarion Brown with the clutch block there. Maybe could have been a block in the back. But the Gamecock strike there with no time remaining. And man, oh man. Marshawn Lloyd, three touchdowns on the day, and they are going to get their first win as a top 25 team in a big SEC win. This one would have changed the projective of the season, but thankfully the Gamecocks come out on top 49-44 in one of the best matchups we've had all year. I'm not really going to say I expected us to lose that game, but... <laughs> Going down by three with about two seconds left isn't a great recipe to win a game. And Spencer Rattler absolutely, I mean, Josh Van, a great catch. Spencer Rattler absolutely shocked me with that beautiful throw. Amarion Brown gets away with maybe a little bit of a blindside or block in the back. But at the end of the day, 
we will not complain. Spencer Rattler, 28 of 38, three touchdowns, three interceptions. I believe you guys only saw two of those. One of those came late in the first half, and it was just kind of like a, a Hail Mary pass, so not really his fault on that one. So you probably could say three touchdowns, two interceptions, but still counting that third interception there. Dak did get a little bit of snaps as a quarterback, but as you can see, he had a very efficient running game. One rush, one touchdown. Good game by him. Marshawn Lloyd, 19 for 79 and three touchdowns. Um, wish we could have got it to him a little bit more earlier in the game as obviously he was doing something good four carries per or four average yards per rush i mean christian bill smith had four and a half yards per rush with two carries so um a very small window of opportunity there for both of them and juice wells seven catches 140 yards i believe that's the second straight week that he's had a stat line like that jaheem bell five for 87 amarion brown four for 36 josh van four 108 Marshawn Lloyd had four for 30. Josh Van also had the game-winning touchdown there, obviously, and Xavier Leggett with a touchdown as well as DeCurion Joyner. So a good all-around effort by this team in our first matchup as a ranked team. I mean, I was very scared for a second there, and um, they really shocked me. We had a couple of sacks. Jordan Strawn, Zach Pickens, and Alex Huntley there all were able to bring down Joe Milton throughout this game. Kicking-wise, Mitch Jeter, 7-for-7 seven seven extra points made. Didn't really need him to kick any field goals. And we do have some big recruiting news for the first time this season. A couple commits already. I was actually shocked when these guys went ahead and committed. As you can see, we have Mike Harris, a Juco free safety, sitting here at a 75 overall. He is not fully scouted. So um, I am going to think i'm going to wait until the end of the season so we get a shock factor whether or not they are actually good or whether or not they are actually bad unfortunately for us we have our very small window of opportunity there it looks like he went down a little bit but we did get brandon robinson another receiver here a guy that we desperately needed from lawrenceville georgia but we're still pursuing a bunch of guys justin kenry is an athlete we're going after we're going after this quarterback stephen moss um i don't think we really need him that much um, but it would be nice to have a dual threat option back there just in case, you know, DeKirion Joyner's gone next year. So we have somebody that can actually take over his spot as a dual threat quarterback. That would be really nice um, and kind of gives us another edge on that, you know, quarterback passing game. Here we have a couple of guys um, that we're leading on and a couple of guys that we're trailing on. But outside of this, there's not much news going on around the recruiting draft or the recruiting area. But um. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as you've seen it the last few weeks. We haven't really changed much up. Um, a couple of these guys, as you can see, I'm giving more points to. And I would like to get Patrick Morris because he is a freshman free safety. Kind of redshirt him and get him to develop it. At the end of the day, next week we are taking on the Missouri Tigers. Um, they're sitting at 3-5. and five. They really have nothing to lose. They've got to make a big turnaround if they want to win a, a make a bowl game. As you can see, they've struggled this year. They beat... Um, FCS team they beat Indiana then they lose three in a row to LSU Arkansas and Arkansas State then they beat Vandy lose to Georgia and lose to Florida so a couple of teams there that we still have to play um, in Florida and then um yeah that's basically it I don't know why I said a couple but we still got to play Florida and we've still got to play um, Missouri obviously right now so we're sitting at 6-1, and one. Georgia sits at 6-1, and one, and Florida sits at 5-1. and one. So there's a very tight race for first place in this conference, or this side of the SEC conference. I am very um, nervous because if we lose one game, it's going to be very difficult to make up that ground. So our matchup against Florida is what we're really, really waiting for. We've got that in a couple of weeks after, or I believe next week after the Missouri episode. Um, so hopefully we are able to make some noise there as far as the top 25 goes as you can see in the top left we did move up to the 21st spot I was shocked to see us jump after beating an unranked Tennessee team but hey I mean the way we won wasn't pretty but man it, it was it was for sure a very very good win as you can see a couple teams dropped out of the top 25 including Notre Dame and Baylor there at who was 22 for Notre Dame and 25 for Baylor we have USC both USC's make the top 25 as they jump back into it after losing two games earlier in the season and at the end of the day pretty excited to see what this team can do across the next few weeks let me know what you guys think we can do against Missouri as always if you enjoy this series hit the like button and subscribe turn on post notifications so you never 
miss a video. I want to thank you guys for all the support you've been continuing to throw at this series and my other videos. And I'll see you guys next episode as we take on the Missouri Tigers.